David Edward and Jeremiah Yukponreef discuss Jeremiah's book, Hive. Jeremiah, how are you? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing I'm doing really good. Hey, I was just I was just on Amazon. I saw this book called Hive. You know anything about that? Yeah, it's one of the best books ever, actually. That's what, it, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. yeah. So so you've written high. It looks like it's been about a little over a year, maybe a year and a half or so. Yeah. Um, what was it that you were doing in your life where you were like, you know what, if everything else I got going on, I want to write a book? Yeah, I was actually uh, doing screenwriting before. So I had written a, I wrote a really bad series, like a show, a few episodes. <laughs> And then I wrote an okay movie and then I wrote a pretty good book. So it was like, I was doing screenwriting, but then I had a conversation with somebody and then I realized that if I'm going to do screenwriting, someone else has to make it, you know, it's like, you're you're begging for someone else to make this thing where a book, you can just do it, make it and put it out. So that was, and I still love writing and I've learned that I prefer writing books. So that's how that ended up happening. Yeah, I think that's right. Writing books is a very individual experience where yeah. the screenplay, I mean, the writing process, I suppose, is, is well, let me ask you, how, how is writing a screenplay different from writing a book? Well, I think a screenplay, a screenplay is actually a little easier because it's not as detailed. Yeah. And there's a lot more focus on, I found that there's more focus on dialogue. It's very dialogue based instead of actually describing the world and whatnot. So that's a huge difference in screenwriting because screenwriting, it's just a few sentences. You have your scene, but writing a book, that same few sentences could be a few paragraphs. So that was the major, the main difference that I found. Were, were, was your screenplay in the same genre as Hive? Uh, well, it was, yeah, it was soft sci-fi for my okay. first screenplay. Yeah, it was okay. awesome. Is that just kind of where you're, that's kind of the stories you like, that's where your brain goes? Uh, that's what I, that was my first thing. Now I'm doing a fantasy book, but uh, yeah, I just like, I love, you know, fiction in general. It's definitely my thing. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So, so you decided to write Hive. How long did it take you to write the whole thing? It took two years to write Hive. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So it was, a, it was, it was a major life commitment. Yeah, pretty much, man. Yeah. So what do those two years look like? I mean, did you get up every morning at four in the morning before you went to work and write a thousand words or weekends uh, or how did you do it? Yeah, it was definitely a mix because sometimes, from what I can recall, sometimes it would be before work. Sometimes it would be just like when I'm uh, out about. But I do. It was a thing of hey, two thousand words a day minimum. That was that's what it was. Wow. So it was yeah. So that's that was the baseline. But it would depended on what time. That was yeah. always different. Yeah. Did you make that every day or most days? Yeah, I made that like most of the time. Just wow, two thousand words. And that, just, that's that's a lot. I I try and do at least a thousand. Yeah. Um, but I've relaxed a little bit. 2000, that's, that, that's a lot of writing. Yeah, um, man. It's uh, definitely is. It's kind of hard to focus sometimes. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know how you feel, but like sometimes it's hard to hit that target, but it's doable. You know, it's just like, yeah. Right. Yeah. Did any of the skills you have for the screenplays transition over in, into the book writing or was it a brand new experience? Well, I think it was definitely a brand new experience, but I think just like writing in general just helps you become a better writer. They translate with like dialogue or whatever, just like character development, but writing a book, it's definitely very different. And I find that it was a whole new ball game, like learning how to actually do it. So, yeah. 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 Isn't it weird? I know when I write sometimes and, and I'll write adventure books and stuff um, and I'm sitting there, I'll write a big, like a big action scene and stuff. And then I'll like go over and, and for dinner and talk to my wife and I'm all excited. Like all kinds of stuff's happened, but nothing's happened. I sat in the yeah, office exactly, for a couple yeah. hours. You know? <laughs> like, so did you find yeah. that too? Like your head gets so into it and then you realize like, well, wait, you know, nothing, nothing's going on. Yeah, for sure, man. Like it's just that when you get into that flow, it's super fun because you're so into whatever you're doing when you're really locked in. So I found that, I found that happen quite a bit, but I'm definitely a phone addict and an internet addict. So uh, sometimes yeah. when I get too distracted, I move out of that and it's just like, I just gotta, but when I am, when I, when I am able to lock in, then, you know, that, that does happen. So would you put your phone aside or away or leave in a different room or oh, I, now I'm at that point where it's just like, I turn the phone off. I uh, have a thing. I have to get, I have to do this thing on my internet where I have like an internet blocker. So oh. I have to do a Google extension of like, Hey, no internet. So even if I try to go and try to run away from writing, I can't do it. So yeah, yeah. You know, it's good for you. This, I mean, that, that's self-discipline. It's, it's hard. Yeah. I did the same thing. Although I'll, I don't know if you noticed this, but I might be a little older than you. Yeah, um, just a little. Maybe <laughs> a, <little, yeah. laughs> a year. So, just, yeah, a year or two. Yeah, you know, like yeah, like I was like yeah. senior, you're like a freshman. But yeah. it's it's easy, it's easier for me to, but I have to put I can't, I have to have, I have to really be able to focus. I mean, I I I I won't even bring the phone into the room with me sometimes. Oh, okay, yeah. That's so smart. it's good that you you identified that and you're because it does, 
it, it fills the time, but writing the book, because you really got to be able to think, right? You got to be able to think about yeah, exactly. what's going on now yeah. and then what's going on in the context of the whole, the whole story. Yeah, true. Yeah. So what is Hive about? Uh, Hive is the story. It's uh, about the main character is Alexander King, and he's a commander in this military force. And what's happened is, you know, a few years ago, there was an alien invasion that decimated the earth and our society as we know it. And humans managed to barely defeat the alien, but they didn't completely beat it. And now the alien is starting to come back. It's called the Hive. And then over the course of the story, they learn that there's Alex and his squad and learn that there's more to the alien than they originally thought. So, yeah. Well, if they decimated society, then the aliens are the good guys? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, just a, that's society, just a joke. That's just a joke. That's a yeah. current <laughs> joke. It's not going to last long. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> but, so. yeah. Well, I mean, you can say that at any time. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, fair anywhere, enough, right? Anytime yeah. you could be like, uh, yeah. So, All right. so yeah. what what were some of the big challenges you found? And, and I mean, two years is a long time. It's easy to just forget and wander off. How, you know, what were the challenges you had in keeping yourself focused? Because because I, I tell people a lot, starting a book is hard. Writing yeah. a book is even harder. But finishing a book is harder than anyone can ever understand how hard it is to actually finish this the stupid. Yeah. Thing. I mean, it's kind of like a thing of it never got easier. Like I think it was yeah. just as hard that first day as it is that other, the, the last days, the challenge was always like that feeling of, I always get that feeling of, I want to give up, but I can't, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to writing. And yeah. I just like, yeah. I don't think I'll ever finish. I'll ever like stop writing and just like quit. I just can't, unless I lose my fucking hands, then I'll, sorry, can I swear? I didn't know <laughs> what I you can do with swear. your nose, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> even if, yeah, exactly. So I think the challenge is just that sitting down and doing it, even on those days that you really don't want to, or those yeah. days that you're tired or whatever. So that's definitely the hardest part. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Did, did you ever think of quitting, like consciously think, ah, it's, it's not worth it. I'm not going to do it. For like three seconds. Like, that's okay, the thing yeah. it's like I can be like, yeah, I'm going to quit, but I know I can't do it. So, yeah. yeah. So you, the, you've had the book out about a year and a half. You're working yeah. on, it sounds like you're working on a follow-up to Hive, but you're also working on another book, it sounds like. Well, the follow-up to Hive, it is actually fantasy. Oh, um, okay. Okay. It's the series is about different planets. So Hive is about Earth, and then this next book is about a different planet. And slowly over the course of the arcane volumes is the name of the series. It, there's going to be different planets, and it eventually going to come together. Uh, it's in a way. So yeah, that's a brave. That's a brave and bold uh, a style. I hope, I hope. Yeah, man. Now I'm deep in it. I've got planets, so I can't quit, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you made it a hundred yeah. times harder on yourself because you know at least with Earth. We yeah. know what the Earth is, and you can kind of plug in, you know, the things you know to the things you got to make up. But it's an alien planet. Now you got to invent all of that, but yeah. still keep it in the narrative, right? Still yeah. keep it in whatever happened to Earth. So that's interesting. And you think that, what do you think? You said summer of uh, next year? Yeah, summer 2023. Okay. Be, you know, yeah. Has anything surprised you about having the book out? I mean, something someone said to you, but positive or negative, you know? Um, uh, I think that it's just like, I'm surprised how... Uh, impressed people are <laughs> like because to me it's just my life I'm just like oh I wrote this book something that I did and people are like that's amazing and I'm like hey, it's like yeah, whatever like so I'm just that's a positive surprise and feedback wise I'm happy with the feedback I understand the when the criticisms and it's like that stuff that I'm working on and yeah but like yeah, yeah I'm just surprised when, when you that. got the first less than completely positive review did it like hurt did it hurt right here uh sometimes like I I haven't gotten like I've gotten a few like batter, uh, like some, that's not a good word. I've gotten a few that are like, it's very rare that someone really doesn't like it. Yeah. It's, so it's like, it didn't hurt too much, but I did have a couple people who really didn't like it, who yeah. are also like writers, but it's like, they haven't finished a thing. So I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> you haven't finished. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's hard. You know, I, I went through that. Um, because my first book wasn't very good. Okay. Uh, uh, the subsequent books are better. Doesn't mean they're good. I get I get better feedback on them. But yeah, for the first book, one of the first reviews was like, not only did this book waste my life, but this guy should not be allowed to type. I'm like, oh, wow. my I'm God. like, wow, well, like that, that that was part of why I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm writing 45 of these things, or yeah, I'm going for 50. You, go. you know, you know, don't 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 tell me that. Yeah. Um, but it, I mean, but it really like got me down. Now I don't I don't care. You know, now yeah. I, I I care. But I, I actually reached out to a, an author friend of mine. Well, he's not a friend. He's a very successful author, and he responded to me. And he's like, "Don't let him bother you. 
read every one and there's probably a grain of truth in, in each one you know yeah exactly um, man yeah but yeah it so, is, yeah exactly that's the thing with the negative stuff is it like it does it has that little sting but it's that thing of like once you get past it is like first of all you can't change their opinion and second of all they could be right like the yeah. stuff that I have to take and really make me better. It makes you better a lot of the time. So for, for me, the reviews, yeah. the, the, the negative feedback was always that I, I didn't develop the characters enough. Okay. So then I wrote a story where I did nothing but just made it all character based. And then I got yeah. negative reviews that said, oh, my guy doesn't go anywhere. All he does is talk about the characters. And I'm like, OK, you can't you can't please this this thing out there, you yeah. know, this review thing. So. Um, all right. So what advice would you have? Let's say that someone uh, is, is where you were a couple years ago and they think they got a good uh, they got a good uh, I want to say adventure book or sci fi book. But that doesn't have to be it. They just they, they think they want to start that process. What advice would you have for them about not just getting started, but about finishing? Because that's that's the hard part. Starting it. We can all start a book. But yeah. What advice do you have about finishing the book? Well, my advice for finishing a book. Oh, I would say find a way to reward yourself at the end get, get, get yourself something nice you know do something nice for yourself <laughs> or get something nice but i have another piece of advice is get a good editor yeah Pay for it because that's the mistake i made and then i put the book out the editing wasn't up to it so i had to take a break of promoting it professional then read i didn't like read i just had to upload the new files but that's a yeah i would have saved a lot more time and money if i had just gotten the good editor right away so me too no i yeah. learned the exact same thing and you think yeah. you don't need it you think you're smart you think you can read it but your brain tricks you when you're reading yeah. your own writing especially something this big so I, I think that's right i think i think just and you don't have to spend a lot of money but i think yeah. you got to pay the editor right yeah exactly and it can't be your mom or your sister yeah no <laughs> or yeah. my wife you know they can help you but they're not gonna they, they yeah, can't true. do what a real editor does so. do you get feedback from family and friends as beta readers uh, beta readers or do you more like, oh, me yeah, yeah i do i do absolutely okay. um okay. and you gotta you gotta let them know it's okay to be critical because right. that's the you know they don't want to be so i found it's better if I, you, you can develop a few beta readers that you trust that you know will read it and i've done that i've got like three people that hmm. i'll send my stuff to and they'll tell me a little more straight up. They, they still try and be nice, you know, right. but I'm like, don't be nice. Be, be, be the biggest jerk you can be because that's yeah. what's going to happen when it goes out. So give me something to work with, you know, exactly. um, but you got to do that. And, you, you know, I don't take all the advice that I get. Um, I probably should, <laughs> but, but it's my story. I mean, I want yeah, it to true. be a certain way, you know, so, um, uh, but yeah, no, se a, a second set of eyes. So a couple of beta, beta readers and then an editor that you can trust mm. because a lot of the folks out there, you'll pay them the money they don't really do it for you. You know, they don't yeah, really go true. through. They, they try and just use the word tools or, you know, they, it's like, no, you got to find someone who's going to actually read this thing and go through line by line and kind of know yeah. enough of the story. So when they can say, well, I saw this word and I thought it was misspelled, but it didn't make any sense. You know, I mean, just to kind of be in it. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I think that's yeah. really good advice. All right, Jeremiah. Well, look, it's been a pleasure talking to you. I wish you nothing but success with Hive. And then hopefully... When the next book comes out, let us know and we'll we'll catch up and see how that one does. Yeah, for sure, man. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please consider hitting the subscribe button.